Uh, yes, I, some, some people drew my attention to a new outing by the Afeni ferry that has kind of, uh, I will use derail to, to describe their present situation. And it's a big relief that Baba is no longer given the assignment of defending what cannot be defended. The endorsement remains uh, illogical, inexplicable, and does not portend the best option for people of the Southwest. And I think our own Afeni Ferry, on a daily basis, is validated leaving them uh, because it appears that they, they have embarked on a journey that they cannot retrace their steps. Uh, they endorsed, I have listened to what Mogaji Adejumo said, and I'm alarmed that he's talking that way. In the first instance, if you are a true Yoruba person, you know that there is a proverb if you look at the voting pattern in the primaries of the recently concluded big parties, specifically APC and PDP, you would see that the South East presented candidates in those primaries, and none of them got more than 15% of the votes from the East. In the PDP, uh, there are about 90 votes or 91 votes from the southeast. Only 15 of those votes went to candidates of southeast origin. In the APC, only about 13% of the votes went to candidates of uh, APC from the southeast. This boils down, or this means that even these people we are talking about are not even voting for themselves. Is it uh, the Southwest that will now vote for them to win the presidency? So the, 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 there is really no basis for it. Beyond that is the fact that, with due respect, Mr. Peter Obi has not demonstrated competence or even capacity to build anything. In the first instance, it was in Abga, which was actually the handwork of uh, the late uh, Odiwe Gojuku. He wrote to governors on the goodwill of uh, the much respected Ikemba. And after, after his eight years, he left the party and went to PDP. He became chairman of SEC. And when Buhari became president of Nigeria, he was even praising Buhari and encouraging people to be patient with him and so on and so forth. And then from there, he got an opportunity to be vice presidential candidate of uh, PDP. Uh, Atiku picked him as a vice presidential candidate. And when it was time to bring money, he said that uh, EFCC had frozen his account. And EFCC had to come out and say, we have not frozen your account. There is no problem with your account. You know, just because he did not want to make any personal sacrifice, he has not spent time building anything that we can say, yes, this man knows how to build. Yes, he has a nose for taking advantage of situations to favor himself, but I do not see why that should qualify someone to become president of Nigeria. In terms of, because this is not just the local government position. This is the federal, this is the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We need someone that has a track record of performance, of competence in terms of uh, building structures. And when I'm talking about structures, I'm not just talking of um, producing commissioner, producing vice president and so on. I'm talking of building enduring structures and legacy. And we have seen the format. It is working in Lagos. Lagos is the envy of every, every state in Nigeria. It is the envy of even some nations. And the fact that it's from the Southwest should not be sufficient to disqualify uh, Ashwaju from contesting and winning. 
and I think is the right person to take over leadership at this point in time. Beyond that, you can see the network of relationship he has built. All have come to support him. Uh, how will you ask Yoruba people, or people of the Southwest, to support Mr. Peter Obi when he was even living up there? How many of his people followed him to PDP? How many Abga touched not, including his commissioners and so on, how many of them went with him to PDP? None. And when he was leaving PDP, um, how many people of note in Southeast politics are going about with him, campaigning for him? How many? But when we talk of uh, Ashwaju, we look around, we see Yoruba leaders. We look around, we see Hausa leaders, we see Fulani leaders, we see Igbo, Igbo leaders, we see people from all walks of life that are, uh, that, have, that are established in their own right, going around with him, campaigning with him. Who are the Igbos that are even following Mr. Peter B? The, 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 you see, the problem the other Afeni Ferry has is that when you are embarked on a wrong course, the further you go, the more errors you commit, and the deeper it becomes for you to come back. That's why they are not agreeing to come back and face reality that right there in our midst, we have the best candidate for Nigeria at this point in time. If you look back at the whole thing, the Afeniferi gave back to AD. He, and AD became the governing party in the entire Southwest in 1999. By 2003, there was a schism. And you had a situation where the uh, tendency within the Afeniferi was to support Obasanjo for a second time. And therefore, all the five Southwest governors, except Lagos, decided to support Obasanjo for second term, believing that their own second term is also assured. But Ashwaju was governor of Lagos State then, and he said, if we are going to support this man for a second term, what assurance do we have that he will not betray us? There was none. So he said, Lagos do not support Obasanjo for a second time. So in 2003, Lagos State APC had no presidential candidate. When it came to voting, the party leaders were said, leave it blank vote for AD. But in all the other five Southwest states, they had adopted Obasanjo as their presidential candidate. And he also had uh, presented his own governorship candidates in PDP. At the end of the day, all the AD governors who were defeated in the elections, except Ashwaju Bola Metinubu. And then the Afeni Ferry leaders abandoned the AD. And uh, I believe that was the genesis of the problem. And Tinubu decided that he was going to work hard and see how it is possible to bring the entire Southwest back into the same political group, which it did, to the chagrin of many. Many thought that it was not possible, but he was able to do so. And since then, they have never endorsed him for anything. In 2007, I believe they endorsed uh, Jonathan, in uh, Jonathan and Yaradua. Then in 2011, they endorsed Jonathan. 2015, they endorsed Jonathan. 2019, 
the endorsed article. So that's why they've just been going around and around like that. Uh, I believe that the more they do that, the less their goodwill, and the more they reduce their goodwill. And that's all I can say, because it's so clear to anybody, even a first-time voter will wonder why you are campaigning for Mr. Peter Obi. What Nigeria needs now is somebody that can assemble the right kind of team to deliver on so many angles, so many areas for, for, for Nigeria. And that's why we are supporting Ashura Jubala Metinumbo. People of the Fountain.